Hey guys, Tom here. Welcome back to another vlog on the Racing Joker channel. I'm here with Heather. She is here to do the Q&A with me, which I have talked about a few times and now we're finally getting around to it. Just to explain some of the shots from earlier in the video, uh, we're currently on vacation in Washington State, specifically Anna Cordes. Her first plane ride, how did your first plane ride go? Good. It was good? Yeah. Yeah, it was eh. You survived. Mm -hmm. We're going to do our, your second, technically your third plane ride ever, because it was two connections. So, you're going to be doing floor paint, four plane trips. Four, 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 three, four, two, one. Yes. Four, three, wait, what is it? Three, two, one. It's like a thing. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I can't do it. So, we saw a cool car show. Um, there was a cool Mad Max type car there, and you liked the Chevelle and things. The Mad Max car apparently is going to an event somewhere in the desert. I think you said the Mojave Desert. And it's going to be Mad Max themed cosplay, people dressing up and being crazy. Apparently his car, that car was tame compared to all the other cars going. So apparently it's not even that crazy. But yeah, we've been walking around on trails, seeing cool things. You've been having fun. You're texting people while you're doing this. Put that away. And we have the questions here, and we're gonna start going through them. Some of them are silly and crazy, but we'll be answering all of them, and we will be showing them on screen as we do it. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Was there a car in all of the Fast and the Furious franchise that inspired you to make the breakdown videos of the movie cars? Plus, love to see a video of the Yungo Camaro in the Too Fast, Too Furious movie. Congrats on 10K. Um, the Nissan Skyline that Paul Walker drove in the second movie, I guess, inspired me to do the breakdown videos, I guess. I don't know. Um, I just kind of did it because I figured the information was not... Because at the time, Craig Lieberman hadn't posted the specs and the parts list yet. So I made a video on... I made a video... <laughs> I made a video on how to build the Too Fast, Too Furious Skyline. Some of it wasn't fully correct and confirmed, but most of it was correct and Craig mostly confirmed it. And I realized, oh, there's some desire for uh, videos like that. So I thought I'd do that. So the first one was the, the, the Too Fast, Too Furious video, but in general, um, it was me just realizing that you guys appreciated informational videos and that there was a demand for them. And I realized that that was information I wanted. And so I figured if I wanted it, other people must have wanted it. So I, I would say the Too Fast, Too Furious Skyline was the one that inspired me to do the rest. And then when I realized there was other information out there that I wanted to bring into the spotlight, I just kept doing it. And you guys liked it and I enjoyed making the videos. What got you into cars and what is the best memory you have related with cars? And you can answer this too if you like. I'll answer it first. As long as I can remember, which isn't much. That's true. <laughs> as far back as I can remember, um, the Fast and the Furious came out in 2001. I was born in 1998. And my parents, for whatever reason, thought it would, be, it would be okay to have me watch that movie. And I loved it. And yeah, I got like matchbox size replica cars of all those movie cars and I played with them and I very quickly um, like them. I've, I, ever since I was little, I always liked vehicles and things, planes, trains, trucks. My first word was truck and all that. Um, but over time, you know, I slowly got more and more into cars specifically. But I would say, I guess, the Fast and the Furious and then a combination of Need for Speed and things like that. <laughs> if money were no object, what vehicle would you buy and how would you build it? Mustang. Mustang, what would you do with it? Would you make it blue? And Something kind of blue. Like a baby blue, like grabber blue? The blue I always show you. Mm -hmm. Would you do it with that wide body kit? Yes. Yes? Would you have the stripes on it or no stripes? No stripes. No stripes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. um, for me, if money were no object, what vehicle would you buy and how would you build it? So I would say if this was a car I'd actually want to modify, I would say the BMW, the M3 E46. I would put probably 
Um, a GTR style body kit, maybe something either from PTG or 2M Auto Works. Um, I would put the E92 M3 S65 V8 in it, Hollinger sequential transmission, welded roll cage system that's FIA certified, you know, suspension, fuel system, the works, uh, purple paint job, the stripes. Don't hit me. Bam! And yeah, something like that. I, I don't know if I would supercharge it or twin turbocharge it, but did you just nod? Yeah, you would. <laughs> would I? Yes. Because I'd probably want it to be fast, but it would also be very light because it would be stripped and it would essentially be a race car. But yeah, probably the BMW. That's like my ultimate dream build ever since I was like eight years old or something. So yeah, something like that. What do you think the car community would look like today if the Supra never existed? The Supra is that orange car that Paul Walker had in the first movie. So something like this. So what would it look like today? So uh, I guess it would be pretty different because the Skyline didn't exist everywhere and the Skyline wouldn't have a rival and we wouldn't be having all these crazy 2JZ builds and things like that. So that is a thing. Um, if the Supra wasn't around, are you saying maybe the 2JZ would still be around? Because then, because the Supra was what really introduced us to that ridiculous engine, the 2JZ GTE. Um, so I think it would have an impact and something would eventually fill the void. I don't think it would be the Skyline because it wouldn't be... I don't think it, <laughs> I don't think it would be the Skyline because it, it wasn't universally available. Um, but I think we would be having fewer 1,000 horsepower cars and things like that because, um, you know, unlike today, the Supra was pretty affordable back in the day. Um, and you could make so much power out of those cars. Ordinary people could do that. So we'd have fewer of those. I don't know. I feel like if the Supra wasn't around, that would imply there would be a lower standard of uh, engineering quality because of the over-engineering of cars like the Supra and the Skyline and things like that. What is your job? I have no job. <laughs> you have a job. Yes, I do. You're a customer service person in a grocery store. Customer service, floral assistant manager, and... Everything. She, she keeps the store from burning down. What made me do YouTube videos and who inspired you to? Brian. <laughs> Fast and the Furious. Fast and the Furious, yeah. I mean, I've been, I've, oh. I've, 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 this channel specifically is actually my third YouTube channel ever. I had one back in, stop that, stop that, let's go back. Okay. <laughs> I had, um, I had a YouTube channel in middle school, which got shut down with copyright strikes because I was stupid and young. Yes. And then. Everyone is. And then my second YouTube channel, I was a little bit more serious with, but not that serious. It was mostly a gaming only channel with YouTube videos about Minecraft and things like that. Um, and then I wanted to start over and I did this channel and I've been really serious about it. And it's been doing really well because it has over 16,000 subscribers uh, as of me, as of us doing this video. Um, what inspired me? Well, back in middle school, you know, because my first few videos were really gaming videos and things like that in Minecraft. You good? Mm-hmm. Clip that back to your thing. It's not gonna work properly. Mm. Yeah, that should be perfect. Um, channels like the Yogg's Cast and things like that back in 2011, 2012 was when I first started wanting to do um, YouTube videos. At the time it was just gaming videos, but re more recently I've discovered that people also like to make car videos 1320 video, um, that racing channel, uh, that dude in blue, more recently daily driven, daily driven exotics, uh, the smoking tire, all sorts of stuff. And I've wanted to do more videos like that more recently. And so it's been a combination. Um, originally I wanted to do gaming, then I realized I could do cars. So the inspiration was back when I was super young. And here I am today, kind of figuring out what I want to do and the channel is kind of starting to have a bit of a focus. Can you do a review on the Supra and the Mustang used in Too Fast, Too Furious? Yes, eventually. I, I will eventually get to it because everyone is requesting those cars. 
What is my dream car? Do you want to answer this first or shall I answer this first? I'll let you. Okay. My dream car... Eh. This is tricky because I have multiple dream cars. But if I, if I wanted to say I had an unattainable dream crazy car that I probably won't be able to afford unless if I make a million dollars a year, I would say uh, the McLaren P1. And if I could pick any version of it, it would be the, Mac the McLaren P1 LM because that's a GTR made for the street. Um, and it's a little modified and it's cool and special. Have I played Midnight Club? No. If so, then which one? I, I think I have a PS3 or PS2 copy of Midnight Club Los Angeles or something like that, but I've never played it. What's your dream car? Like either the Mustang or... A Jeep. <laughs> Jeep? What do you think of the new Jeep Gladiator, the, their pickup truck? I do and don't like it. You do and don't like it? Nah. Okay. I'm not so sure about it. It looks like a Wrangler that's been extended. Yes. Which, yes, it is. for some people, is okay, I'm sure. Yes. For me, I don't know yet, because it's a lot like the Porsche Cayenne in Panamera. Excuse you, I'm allowed to have my opinions, even if it's wrong. What's the worst modified car you've seen IRL? I don't know. I don't think I've necessarily seen any bad modified cars. The car I've, most, I've been most critical of are cars with bad camber, where their wheels are like this. And I kind of go, that feels dangerous, but people like that, I judge it silently, but I won't tell people to not do that. What's your favorite Need for Speed game? Need for Speed Most Wanted or Underground 2? Why are you looking at me? I don't play it. Okay. What is your favorite anime? Never watched it. Bleach. And I have never seen Initial D. I tried watching it, and I don't think I managed to finish the episode I was watching. I don't remember it at all. What sports do I practice? Frisbee golf. Frisbee golf. I don't know if that's technically a sport. It's, it's active. Yes. I do not practice sports. I tried practicing sports. I tried football. And then I needed surgery on my leg. And then I never did sports again. So, unless if you count different forms of martial arts, like kendo or something. In which case, yes. Sort of. Other than the Skyline, what other car is your favorite in the Fast and the Furious franchise, and what do you think is the most underrated car in the franchise no one really seems to talk about? Um, I really like the Eclipse. Mm, the Supra 2, other than that, I don't know. The most underrated car? I don't know if there really are any underrated cars. It's hard for me to say what would be underrated because you guys request everything. <laughs> Like, you guys will ask me to do a video about cars that have, like, 10 seconds of screen time. So, I'm not sure. Underrated, in my opinion, the most underrated car would have to be Twinkie's van. The Hulk van. But you guys still request stuff about that, so I'm not sure. Underrated tuner car? <laughs> Maybe Neela's Mazda RX-8. Because that car looked cool but it, not much was talked about it. Can you make a video of how to build an R34 out of R35 parts? Probably, actually. I'm sure it's possible. It takes a lot of custom work, but it would be neat and different. I always thought it would be cool to build an R34 using an R35 drivetrain, because then you can have the old school RB26 with the cool, the epic launch control of the R35. That would take some research, but I think that'd be a fun video to make. If you had to drive one car from the Fast and the Furious, what car would you drive? The Nissan Skyline. What would you drive? <laughs> Cars you like are Dom's Dodge Charger. Mm -hmm. You like, you kind of like the Supra, that orange car, right? What cars do you like? Would you ma mainly pick the Dodge Charger? Yep. You'd pick the Dodge Charger? Yep. So she likes muscle cars. You like muscle cars. Yeah. Okay. Cornflakes or Cocoa Pops? Cornflakes. I'm not sure, but would you have cornflakes plain or would you put sugar on them? Depends. Okay. I do both. You do both? Dream build, um, the BMW M3 GTR. If I had to say another car, the Nissan Skyline um, with a C-West body kit, purple paint job. 
HKS 2.7 liter stroker kit with a Trust T78 turbo. What was, did they have another part? Your dream build, no money limitation. A modified McLaren P1 because that would make people angry and also very interested. What is your view on the R33 GTT to GTR conversion? Engine and body kit. I think that's a respectable build. I think that would be cool. I think that takes a lot of time, dedica dedication, research, and efforts. And I think that if you can pull it off, it's very respectable, especially if you prefer rear wheel drive. If you're doing four wheel drive, that's also very cool. But yeah, um, regardless of your motivation for doing so, I think it's definitely something that is cool. And I think it's neat that people do it because the the GTTs and the GTRs have sometimes different body dimensions and things like that. They might be lighter or heavier or whatever. So there's some benefits and other things like that, I'm sure. What are three cars you would want to wake up having to, wake up to having it? Okay, let me try that again. What are three cars you would want to wake up to having in your garage? Three cars I'd want to wake up to having in my garage. Jeep, uh, Jim, Cherokee. Jeep Mustang. Grand Cherokee. Mustang. And then another type of Jeep. Another type of Jeep. Like a Wrangler or something? Yep. Okay. So for Heather, it's Jeep Grand Cherokee. The one with the um, fastest motor in it. So the, like the Trackhawk or something. Mm -hmm. um, you'd want a Wrangler mm -hmm. and a Mustang. Would you want the Mustang to be fast or normal? Normal. Normal. You'd rather, Jeep would be fast. you'd rather the Jeep be fast. Okay. For me, I would say, not counting my Subaru, I would say the Nissan Skyline, uh, the M3 E46, and the McLaren P1, or a Huracan Evo, a Lamborghini Huracan. Are you a ricer? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. A ricer is someone who makes their car look good and really flashy and isn't all that fast. Ew. Do you like anime? Sure. I said I watch Bleach. Probably not. How much money have you spent on your car? Is that the one you saw earlier? Mm -hmm. Um. This one was my favorite. The Cobb tuning package with the intake and the tune was 995 with labor over $1,000. Um, the blow off valve has costed me probably 500 to $700 of R&D and custom work. Um, and that's eventually going to require a tune. So almost 2000, maybe a little more. I, I don't know. Actually, I don't know what you're saying. Drift or grip. If you're talking about the WRX, it's going to be a grip car. Um, but yeah, so far that's all actually, no, cause I also replaced you in shock. Um, I also replaced the lights in the front bumper because <laughs> I damaged them. That's a funny story. Do you want to tell them the story about that? I let you. So there's a there's a storm drain outside of Heather's house. Um, and he was stupid and didn't look to I, see. I didn't know it was there at the time because it was early in our relationship. I didn't know it was there. And I didn't walk around my car and be spatially aware. And I drove into the storm drain. Dommy. It's part of, that's why the road kind of. <laughs> well, I didn't know. And so I drove into that, drove straight down into the ground and damaged the, the fog light bezels. My car doesn't have fog light, fog lights. So I added some from Subi Speed. So that was also some money. So yeah, at least $2,000, maybe three on the car. I have, I have also replaced the clutch because the master cylinder went out and I also got a new clutch. Um, so maybe four or $5,000. So if we're including upgrades and repairs, four, five, six, no idea at this point now, actually. Too much. Too much, too much already. Can you review the game FR Legends in Play Store? I don't have a new PlayStation. I'd have to get a PlayStation. What's FR Legends? Oh, it's it's this game. It's like a cartoonish car game. Okay, could be fun. What's your opinion on the import ban? Are you talking about the 25 year rule? I think it's dumb. It's mostly because of European automakers lobbying and making it so that they can not lose money by people buying cars overseas, but it's fine. I, I, I can't do anything about it. We've already petitioned once to change the rules and we lost. 
So not much we can really do. Favorite, favorite front wheel drive car? Probably the Honda Civic. I'd probably rear wheel drive convert it if I could. But if I had to keep it like that, I probably wouldn't care. I like the EM1. And I also like the new Type R. Because it looks like an Evo, basically. And it looks cool. So, that's nice. Do you like nacho fries from Taco Bell? Yes. Do you? Do you like nacho fries? I want some nacho fries. When I saw that comment, I'm like, I want some. <laughs> right now. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Um, please get back to us on that in the comments below. Do you like sim racing? I don't think I've ever done it. I'd probably suck at it, but I would enjoy suck it. Suck at everything. Bam. What countries would you like to visit? Paris. No, Paris is not a country. Uh, France, I've been to, but I'd want to go back to. Germany and Japan. Favorite motorsport? I like Le Mans because the cars look like road cars that have just been modified. So GT racing and things like that. NASCAR is cool. Drag racing can be fun, but I mostly like to watch the 1320 video version if you catch my drift. Um, yeah. First car, the WRX. What car would you buy? Money, no object, to enjoy the rest of your life. The McLaren P1, I guessed. Uh, is that all of them? Mm -hmm. Best sounding supercar. The Lamborghini Murcielago. <laughs> Followed closely by the Lexus LFA. Favorite supercar brand? Jeep. That's not a supercar. I don't care. <laughs> uh, I would say, well, you like the Lamborghini. I showed you the picture of that blue one. Um, I would say Lamborghini or McLaren. Uh, what do you think of, a, what do you think is a good first car for an enthusiast? Um, if you're looking for something cheap and easy to work on, if you like tuners, I would say some kind of Honda or Toyota. Mm, mostly a Honda. And if you like muscle cars, some Mustangs can be cheap. Used ones can be cheap. You can get an eight cylinder engine and have some fun with that. And not really any exotics out there that are cheap. Which one, would we, which one would you prefer? Nissan Skyline GTR R34 four wheel drive or Nissan 25 GT Turbo? Um, well, it depends. it depends on your budget. Because you can build a 25 GT into something pretty cool. The same with the Skyline. It depends on what you're looking for. And also which version of the Skyline GTR you want. Whether you want a V-Spec, a Standard, or what, what have you. Because you get the mechanical um, limited slip differential in the Standard cars. And then you get the active LSD in the others. And sometimes people don't like those and all that sort of stuff. I want a GTR because of the heritage, the engine, and the package it comes with. And all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I would say GTR, but don't bankrupt yourself. Save a little more if you want that. Um, 25 GT can also be very cool though. I, I wouldn't judge you for buying that and building that into something cool. Because remember, in the automotive scene, you can make anything special. And Skylines are already special. R34 or GTR? I'd probably... I assume you're referring to R34 or R35. I would take R34, but yeah. I have the next set of questions here. Okay. I was wondering. Shit. I fucked up. Yes, you did. Okay. I don't understand this question. They're asking, they're asking if the wheels on this car are OZ Racing 5XBs. No, those are stock BMW wheels that came with the car. Where's the best place you've ever lived and why? Same goes for worst. Best place? It's a battle between London or the Netherlands. Great weather, very nice, great people, friendly, and it's very peaceful and quiet. It's a lot like here. Um, worst? My worst experience was in Singapore. It's a place that's good for visiting, not for living, if that makes sense. It's not a bad place, it's just I'm not a city person. It's loud, polluted, hot, humid, and just not my thing. So, <laughs> but lots of cool cars there. A very wealthy place. Um, I've got lots of stories 
about all of these places. Um, sorry if I almost hit you again, but yeah. New to your channel, I would just like to know your favorite car. Mine is a 1997 Veilside Mazda RX-7. I've already answered this. My favorite car, favorite hypercar, McLaren P1. Favorite dream build is the M3 GTR, followed closely by the Nissan Skyline. What's your favorite Fast and Furious car and why? Too Fast, Too Furious Skyline. Hopefully you can review the Yonko Camaro or the Lancer in Too Fast, Too Furious. I am working on the Evo from Too Fast, Too Furious and we'll get back to you on that. Oh, here's this question. Are you ready for this question? Okay. No, but I think I got this. Okay. Your girlfriend seems really nice. She is, 80% of the time. <laughs> um, cool of her to be in the NASCAR video. Yeah, that was fun. Um, here's some questions for her. <gasps> what, what's her favorite sports car? Mustang. Mustang. Favorite practical car? Jeep. Grand Cherokee? Yep. Okay. What does she think of the YouTube channel? Will she be in more videos? Depends. What do you think of the channel? It depends. On what? I don't know. Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's weird? Boring? Don't care? Sometimes it's weird. Okay. It's usually weird, I think. Yeah. What else do you think of it? What's your general thoughts on it? You don't have thoughts? No. Okay. Will you be in more videos? Maybe. Probably. You would probably force me to be in more videos. Well, this one was your idea. You would not leave me alone about it. <laughs> well, it's because it was your idea. How long have you guys been together? Oh uh, my God, you don't know that. Do you know? It's like a year and three months. Uh, you don't have a watch. Check it is up. Uh, yeah, one year and three months exactly, apparently, because it is the 8th of this month. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you not realize it? <laughs> no, I did I not. I did. I didn't. <laughs> I don't have to remember the monthly anniversaries anymore because we've been together for a year. Um, who is going to be doing the decorating after the move-in? This, this lady here. Yes. She asked me if I wanted to give input, and I bravely said no. no. Good response. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite Fast and the Furious movie? First one, second one, the third one. Do you like the Tokyo one? I am okay with that one. Is that your favorite one? Uh-uh. Which one's your favorite one? There's too many. Can you say what your top two are? No. Which one do you like? Can't even tell you that one. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she can't answer your question. There's too many of them. And a lot of them are pretty good. Yeah? Except the Indian ones. So you like the older ones more? Kinda, yeah. Some of the new ones are okay, but... Do you like... Because you always said the first one you saw was the fourth one. Yes. Is that the one you like the most, maybe? Probably, yeah. Okay. Fast and Furious is probably her favorite. Question number seven. What's your answer to that one? don't know and it depends depends oh dear <laughs> it really depends you don't know which one do you not know and which one does it depend <laughs> both oh boy we will see wish me luck guys <laughs> we will see about both of those yeah next video <laughs> what's the next video title gonna be okay how did how did you how did you decide to become a writer? I like. I would hate to be one. You would hate to be one. Because I uh, hate writing. <laughs> I decided to be a writer because I always wanted to tell stories. You talk or, too much too. I wanted to always tell stories or make movies or things like that, and it took me a while to figure out how I wanted to relay those stories or whatever, and I decided to do it in form in the forms of novels and short stories and things. Mostly fantasy, sci-fi, and fictional stuff, um, that sort of thing. Um, I've kind of talked about it before, but I haven't talked about it that much. But I've wanted to do storytelling and writing ever since I was very, very, very little. Um, yeah, I'm currently working on a book and planning everything out, um, but I'm not 
putting 100% into it, so it's taking a while. Yes, yes it is. Have you ever taken sleeping pills and laxatives? It's kind of shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to say yes. <laughs> You're about to say yes. yes. Have, have you? Yes. Taking laxatives and sleeping pills? At the same time? Not both. Why would you at the ever, same time. Why would you ever do that? I have never took both at the same time. Can you elaborate more on the countries I've lived in? I was born in the US, in Texas, started there, went to Illinois, uh, went to California. Excuse you. <laughs> um, he asked, after California we she went... Oh, she. Oh, it's the Polish raccoon, so I don't know. <laughs> after California was Washington State, which is where we're at now this same exact area. Um, then I went to South Africa, Johannesburg specifically. And then I went to London, Singapore, the Netherlands, Iowa, Illinois, back to Iowa, and then Illinois again. And that's the most recent. Those are all the moves. Um, I honestly don't know how to elaborate more on all that because that would take a long time. Yeah. And she's already falling asleep. Would you consider buying an FDRX7? It depends on if I'm allowed to do an engine swap. But yes, I would. It would be a fun project car. Do you know what the RX-7 is? No. And you're gonna tell me. It's one of these. It's one of these. It has the pop-up headlights, which is, which is not showing. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. I think it looks cool. Okay. okay, anyways. What is your favorite country you lived in? I already answered that, the UK or the Netherlands. I want to know how you're going to approach job searching. With little to no structure is probably the, the best answer. I'm on the hunt myself, but I haven't had much luck. Good luck. Good luck. You'll probably be fine. I just got a message saying my dad is wee bowling. Wee bowling. Wee bowling. Um, depends on what you're looking for. I'm going to try and do something automotive relative, related. I'm first going to try and get into car sales. And everyone's like, oh, you're not going to make much doing that because of like commission and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I really want to learn the ropes of all that, because I really want to start a business involving stuff like car sales and things like that. So I really want to work under people and some fairly nice dealers to learn the ropes and know the business so that when I try and start it myself, I know what I'm doing, basically. I don't want to pretend, but yeah. Um, good luck to you on your search, though. I'm sure you'll be fine. Just do research. Um, do your research on the jobs and the things they're willing to offer you in terms of benefits. Look at the pay. Make sure it's convenient to where you are. And if it's far, be willing to travel there if you think it's worth it. And um, just put yourself first. And don't make too many sacrifices, I guess. That seems like good advice, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that far in life, so I can't give a ton of life advice. But I, I will do my best. What's your favorite Fast and Furious car? To Fast and Furious Skyline for the upteenth time. What are your opinions on my personal favorite car, the Toyota MR2 GTS? Oh boy, I'm not sure I know what that is. I believe I spelled that wrong. MR2 GTS? I kind of like these. They're super light. Put a K20 in it and have exhaust sticking out the back. Could be fun. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. These cars are nice. I don't know if I would fit in one. Because they're really tiny. Mm. <laughs> they're like they're like the Japanese Lotus Elise. That's probably a really bad analogy. Someone's probably going to scream at me, but that's how it is to me. Favorite car, BMW M3 46. <laughs> Next, that's one six. That's one sick Lambo. They're talking about the picture I had attached to the post. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. I like it. Favorite drift car. <laughs> no idea. I would say, if I were to build a drift car, it would be a Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX with the front drive shaft disabled or removed so that I could drift it because it would essentially be a rear wheel drive Eclipse. It would make people angry, but it would be fun. What's the purpose you found behind making these videos and what affected you to start your channel? New sub, you got good content. Thank you. Um, I started a channel because I wanted to do more car content, less gaming content, real life stuff because Basically, I, I wanted to stop doing the other channel and do just just this and be a little bit more serious about it and committed. And it's paid off and 
Um, originally, it was just kind of random vlogs and gaming and, thi gaming and things. The informational videos, you know, my first informational video was about importing Skyline GTRs into the US. And I just thought, because a lot of people were getting scammed and getting their cars crushed and losing a ton of money, like hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I thought, well, that sucks. I don't want to see people get screwed over and scammed. So I made that video to hopefully bring information to the spotlight for people that care. And over time, I realized that people found those videos nice. You're confusing me. Stop it. Stop it. You're going through all the questions. And so it's a lot of this has just been seeing opportunities and taking them and realizing that there's demand for something and trying to supply to that demand. What is your honest opinion of the Nissan Silvia S14? I think it's cool. I think the kooky front end is probably the best. Um, yeah, the back doesn't quite match the front, but I think it's okay. I, I like it. Um, it looks like a very classic tuner car. Would I ever get one? I don't know. Favorite rally car? Probably that five-cylinder Audi Quattro rally car, because I think that looks and sounds really cool, but like a road version of that. Have I played Midnight Club? If so, which one? I haven't played any. I do have a copy. Maybe play some one day? Maybe. We'll have to see. I'd, I'd have to get a PC copy or something. What was the first car? What was the first car you owned or driv drove? Driven. Drove. Blew. WRX was the first one I owned. First car I ever drove was a Mountaineer SUV. <laughs> I didn't drive it very fast. I was like 15. I was. I didn't have a permit or anything. What is your honest opinion on the 2002 Su Suzuki Baleno? I don't know much about Suzuki. Duh. I don't know. I don't know much about it. I don't know what engine it comes with. Oh, that one looks interesting. That red one looks like it has a clean engine bay. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what engine it comes with. I don't know if it comes with a cool engine, good, good for tuning. I don't know anything about it. My opinion about it would be uninformed. And I don't know. It doesn't look particularly interesting, but it would probably be a good sleeper. It also depends on which version. There's a, there's a wagon version. There's a sedan. Don't know. Depends. This hatchback one does not look good. <laughs> okay, anyways. Moving on. I don't know if I just dissed someone's car. Mm -hmm. Which soup do you like the best? What is your favorite soup? Hmm. What are your top three soups? Potato. Potato soup. French onion. That's a good one. I like that one. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle. I would have to say I like miso ramen soup um, or teriyaki soup or something. You. Um, I like French onion soup. Chicken noodle is also good. I don't know if it's in my top three. It depends how it's made. Yeah, it does. It really does. Um, number three. Maybe some other kind of Chinese or Japanese soup. I'm not quite sure. What is your opinion on the Suzuki Grand Vitara? Fantastic. I don't... Why is everyone asking about Suzuki's? Suzuki... Because they go fantastic. Maybe. No idea. I've never driven one. I don't know if I've even seen one. I've seen things that look like it. Right. <laughs> Especially that kind. It seems like a fine car. Kind of reminds me of what Cameron has. Looks a little goofy, but seems fine. I like it. I don't think I would hate it, especially in that blue. It's a nice blue. I know nothing about it. Again, no idea. No clue whatsoever. If someone asked me to do a review on one, I would actually do some research on it before getting into it. <laughs> Are you planning on compiling all of your funniest moments playing racing games like Most Wanted 2005 and uploading it one video? Yes. So probably I will do it for in different games first. Oh, also, what racing games are you planning on doing next? Probably Carbon, because you guys voted for that. After that, no idea. In terms of racing games, anyways. What inspired you to start making videos on YouTube? Yogg's Cast, then later car channels, all sorts of stuff, because I started doing Minecraft, and I started doing car, wanting to do car videos, but I had to wait until I had a car, because I didn't want to make videos before I had a car and things like that. I kind of wanted to capture the journey from my beginning with hands-on experiences 
um, up until either I die or YouTube dies, basically. We'll see how long YouTube lasts. What inspired you to start making videos about Fast and Furious cars? I just one day realized I had access to information that was correct, but not that accessible to everyone else and very awkward to find. So I wanted to bring it to the spotlight. People responded very positively to it, so I kept doing it and you guys loved it. And it was a combination of me finding information and you guys appreciating it. Appreciating it. So discovering it and you guys appreciating it is what inspired me to make videos about Fast and Furious cars and just any cars. If you are rich, which JDM car would you buy? Um, I believe it's Z-Tune chassis number 10, the Midnight Purple 3 car. Or just a Z-Tune in, in general, I guess. Sorry, did I almost hit you again? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? I was born in Houston. I'm not really from anywhere though. <laughs> Alton. You're from Alton? Illinois. Alton, Illinois. Fun, fun. Would, I, would you believe me if I told you I recreated your NFS Payback Skyline by watching your video of you making it? I couldn't find a wrap of it, so I replicated it. I can believe that. Good job. I'd be impressed. Send me a message on Instagram with screenshots of it so I can see it and I can congratulate you. Spring trap. Do it. Make a video on Fast Five wallet puller chargers. Oh, the chargers that they pulled the safe with from that movie. Make a video on those. I might be able to do that. I don't know how I would have to speak to about that because a lot of my videos are on the older movies because I have Craig in my contacts basically and, yeah. and I don't have as many contacts in the newer movies. Would you rather buy an A86 or 240SX? 240. 240. I read your mind. <laughs> 240SX. The A86 is cool, but the 246 is, 240SX is more up my, up my alley. Why is the Racing Joker even named the Racing Joker? Well. Because he thinks he's cool. Mm, yes. That's one of the reasons. Um, he thinks he's a Joker, but he's not. <laughs> it's because when I made the channel back in 2017, I wanted to do like a playthrough of like the Batman games. I really like the Joker as a character or as a concept. I like racing and I wanted to combine two of the things I was really into at the time in one video to describe myself and my interests and what the channel was all about and what you what the viewers were basically getting into. And so um, I said, The Racing Joker, and it kind of stuck and people liked it. And so I've just kind of rolled with it since then. I don't know if I would ever change it. I don't know why I would. Some oh. people do. Some people do change their channel names. Um, sometimes they change it to just their name or yeah. things like that, or maybe the name of their business or whatever. Um, I don't know. Like if I started a, a car dealership company, excuse you, if I started a car dealership company, would I change it to that name, maybe? I don't know. Would I change it to just my name? I don't know. I feel like just to make it easier for people to search for me, I might just keep it the same. But I can't see that far into the future. No one can. And why is Midnight Club still canceled Saws always everywhere? Is he a bot? No, he's not a bot. I've had conversations with him. Um, he's funny. I think it's funny that he's subscribed to me and commenting on all these videos of mine um, because he's usually on Black Panther's channel because he's the one who started that whole cancellation thing. Um, I, there's also someone that says Need for Speed Underground 2 still canceled Saws as well, um, who was also an early subscriber of my channel. I don't know why he's everywhere, but I think it's cool and I think it's funny. Um, and yeah. And I think that's all of them. Well, I'll quickly check the latest post just to make sure. My hand is really freaking tired. Have I missed anything? Doesn't look like it. We did it. Sweet. I listened to you talk that much. Oh my God. You have to listen to me more often than that. That was just kind of like a hostage situation. It was. <laughs> but yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching the Q&A. Um, thanks for all your questions. Be thankful. Be thankful because I had to put Heather through this. Yes. We are currently at 16,600 and something subscribers. Oh, it's on airplane mode. That's why. Dead George. 
16,680 something subscribers, 88 subscribers. That's good. We're going to try and hit 17,000. I am working on the Evo video as we speak, and I've got some other things planned. Um, views are low, and subscriber growth is low, so I have to spice things up somehow. So hopefully I can do that. Um, yeah, I said this was going to take 15 minutes. The camera says it's taking 52 minutes. So I was wrong about that estimation, but thank you guys for all your questions. This is supposed to be celebrating 10,000 subscribers, but technically we're going to be celebrating um, 16,000... Um, 16,688, because why not? Um, I just screenshotted that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to get on a plane tomorrow at 6 in the morning, which means we're waking up at a little bit before... A little bit before 3. Um... And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos and I hope to see you guys next time. Congratulate Heather on putting up with me. And yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.